All right, folks, welcome back to another video here at flyfishingwithjeff.com. And I'm once again on the St. Croix. The first couple days in July. Wow, there's a nice fish. And I have, oh, easy now, switched up a little bit in that, uh, easy now. Holy cow, just give me a break. Take a look at this guy real quick. Pretty little fish. I'm going to a floating line because the water's just so doggone shallow. Um, I've got a seven weight here, 10 foot. Really make some long casts if I need to to keep my profile out of the way. And I've got a bucktail, reverse tied bucktail, no weight on it trying to stay up out of stuff as much as possible and I think the key is going to be finding some water with a little bit of depth like we have here where they can stay clear of the overhead predators they've got boulders things of that nature so that's what we're doing we're we're working this streamer I've also got a couple damsel dragonfly slash flies to try down through here today so got an upstream wind you can probably hear it so that that's a good thing that I've got my kick fins along and I can keep myself moving and I'm going to be going along here and trying to pick off some fish like that one right there down through here in these deeper deeper little areas so come along with me and let's see what we can find here on just a gorgeous day up here in northwestern Wisconsin on the St. Croix River. goodness that was on immediately that's a big fish holy cow wow as soon as the fly hit the water all right come on in here You loose, look at that. Beautiful fish, beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. And away you go. Let's see if there's another one lurking back in there.
Well, I thought I had the camera on, but I didn't. And unfortunately, you missed the fight. That's just the way it goes sometimes. I'm kind of bummed about it. But look at that fish right there, folks. That is a beauty. And he hit in this little pool right here. As soon as the fly hit, he was on it. Doggone it, I didn't have the camera on. I thought I did. Well, that's the way it goes sometimes. I'm going to set the camera here, though, and see if I can't get a little selfie with this baby. Look at that fish there, folks. That is a beaut. Let's do a quick, quick measurement here. See what he bakes out to be. Um... I'm going to call him 19 and a half. Just can't quite get 20 out of him. But look at that fish. What a special, special place here on the St. Croix. Again, very shallow water. I made a long cast into this little pool. This little pool right here. And the whole thing just erupted. But you know what? That's the way it goes sometimes. So let's watch this guy. And we'll send him back to be caught yet again another day. Well, there you have it. That was very cool. Again, I wish I'd had that the explosion, the entire pool kind of lightening up. Uh, that that probably took me a good minute to get that fish in. That was a that was quite the fight, but what a beauty. And just look around here, folks, at the beauty. Oh, my. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Tomorrow will be July 4th, so happy 4th of July to all of you out there. Um, wish you the very best. I, I still think we live in the absolute greatest country in the world, in the history of the world. Um, maybe a little bit messed up right now, but I think we're going to come out of it at some point in time. So again, happy 4th of July. Be careful, be safe. And um, I hope to catch you again on another video with flyfishingwithjeff.com.